is Monday, October 5th, D-Day. I'm Nicholas Kralik. And I'm Tom Abrazzese. And this is Kennedy Live. Happy belated birthday to Joseph Eckhart. Senior shirt orders will be during lunch periods today. The shirts are $11 each. Or not. Yes. Guess. Cash each. Guess cash. Please yeah. submit any news or announcements under the Submit News tab on the Kennedy Catholic website. Right. Um, okay, and now for some news with me. Three scientists who developed treatments against parasites have won the 2015 Nobel Peace Prize in Physiology and Medicine. The award is worth about $1 million and will be split among the three recipri recipients. William C. Campbell, Satoshi Omura, and Yo Yu Tu. For all fans of the American television show, The Office, which premiered on NBC for 10 seasons, someone calculated how much money Jim spent on pranking Dwight. The Redditor, who calculated this number, came up to the conclusion that Jim spent anywhere from $7,000 to $10,000 pranking Dwight. That's, little, that's a lot of money. It's a little too much time on his hands. <laughs> yeah. In sports, girls varsity volleyball won on Friday 3-0 against Preston. Uh, boys varsity soccer plays St. Edmunds today at four at home. Um, girls varsity soccer play TMLA at 4.30 here. Um, and girls varsity tennis play a match against Beacon at Heritage Hills at 4.30. A lot of games today. Yeah. In baseball, the Yankees lost last night for the last game of the season, 9-4 to four against the Baltimore Orioles. So uh, playoffs start, I think, tonight, and the Yankees play on Tuesday against the Houston Astros. And the Mets beat the Nationals 1-0. to zero. I believe they play the Dodgers. Well, at least one New York team won. Yeah. So. It's not my team. Neither and finally, for football, my Giants won again against the Buffalo Bills, 24 to 10, and the Jets beat the Miami Dolphins all the way in London, 27 to 14. And now for this day, in, oh, and now for President's Corner with Father Valancourt. Good morning, everyone. Just like at the top of the order this week, I want to talk about uh, our mission statement. Everyone should have received it by now. Uh, what I'd like us to do, we're going to inaugurate or promulgate this statement so that it will be recited uh, each week on Monday. Uh, we will say it together before we do the prayer and the pledge. Uh, I would ask you to call it down into your iPad, uh, make a note of notability so you have it in front of you. Uh, we will start off Monday, which is our week, uh, reciting it together as a school community. As you know, part of our middle states protocol is to really band together and get behind who we are as a school. Uh, I read it at Mass on Friday. I'll read it for you again. Uh, we are Kennedy Catholic. We are strong and committed Christian leaders who are determined to make a difference for Christ in our world and in the lives of others. Through the development of mind, body, and spirit, we will strive always for excellence and the highest standards in Catholic education. We are courageous and compassionate. We are Kennedy Catholic. I think it's a great statement. It came out of our, our um, committee that came together to review it. Uh, and so we are going to start it tomorrow. Uh, so please, today, sometime today, call down the mission statement, make a note of it. So tomorrow, before we do the, the prayer and the pledge, uh, we will say together our mission statement. And it's a good one, and one, I think, which really crafts our vision of who we are as a school. Also, as a Catholic school, I'm excited. Tomorrow we will have... Uh, Jason Everett, he's a world-renowned speaker, devout Catholic, uh, very well-schooled in the theology of Pope John Paul II. Uh, I think it's a timely presentation. Uh, we're, we have the Synod on the Family taking place with, Our Holiness, with His Holiness Pope Francis in Rome. And it's really going to tie into those themes about human sexuality, love, marriage, family. Uh, in this overarching view of what God had planned at the original creation of man and woman. So we'll have a special schedule tomorrow, which everybody should know about that, and we'll kick it off promptly at 1245, and we'll be done uh, in time for dismissal at the end of the day. So a lot going on this week, a lot to be excited and enthused about, and remember, we are Kennedy Catholic. God bless you, and have a great week. The mission statement's pretty pretty good. It's a it's, very nice mission statement. Well, looks like we're gonna have a pretty busy week, so. Yeah. Um, 
Tuesday. Um, I'm not really sure, but I didn't catch that if we're going to be um, ending classes at 12, about. Yeah, we yeah. have a special schedule. Yeah. Very nice. Good. Okay. All right. Thank you, Father. And now for this day in history with Matt. Good morning, Kennedy Catholic. I'm Matthew Carney with your Daily Dose of History. We're going to start with some important history that occurred yesterday. Russia launched Sputnik beginning the space race, which is a pretty big deal. And now we're going to head back to this day in 1877. Nas Pierce, Chief Joseph, surrendered to the U.S. military, famously declaring that he would fight no more forever. Finally, on this day in 2011, Apple co-founder Steve Jobs passed away. That's all for this day in history. Now back to the anchors. Well, I'm Nicholas Kralik. And I'm Tom Abrazese. And this has been Kennedy Live. Have a great Have day. Have a great day.